Today I would like to recommend an HDMI dual screen to you. With KVM switch. First we turn on the machine. This is the HDMI port of the machine USB port. HDMI port of computer 1. HDMI port of computer 2. Switch button. For USB ports on the front. Hub 1 to 3 for wire control interface. There's a model number on the back. Product description. Unpack. Two USB A to B cables. Two HDM high definition cables. A control line. There is also a product manual. We already have the HDMI high definition cables. You also need to prepare for high definition cables. Two, four. These are two USB cables. Machine control line. This is our complete set of product packaging. In addition, we need to prepare for HDMI. HDMI interface high definition cable. First, we need to prepare the computers with HDMI interfaces. HDMI interface. Please pay attention. If we have a separate graphics card, that HDMI port on top, this HDMI port cannot be used. First, plug the HDMI cable into the HDMI port 1 or 2. A computer host must plug into HDMI cables. Three HDMI lines for USB cable. Plug this USB port into the USB port of the computer host. 2.0. Plug another USB cable into the USB port. Every computer host, we have to plug in one, two, three wires. This host also has three wires plugged in. After plugging in the wires, connect the other end to RKM switch. Then we turn on the computer again. Plug one end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI port HDMI. HDMI 1 or HDMI 2 can be used. Plug in the cable and prepare the second HD cable. Plug into the HD port of monitor 2. After plugging in, the entire HD cable looks like this. Well, this is one of our KVM switches. Monitor is connected to monitor A and monitor B. The PC is connected to the computer hosts. USB 1 is connected to the computer host 1. PC 2 represents computer host 2. USB to computer host 2. Import A and import B are connected to computer host 2. A computer must be connected to three lines at the same time. BDMI is about images. USB is for keyboard and mouse. Dual screen KVM switch. Pay special attention to. We are impaling from input A1. Output from output A. Or input from input A2. Output output. The upper layer is. Input B1 input. B output from output. Input from B2 of input. Output from B of output. OK, let's connect now. Computer host generation USB cable. Second HD line of computer host 1. The second HD line of computer host 1. After plugging in, there are three wires. We prepare three computers. It is the three lines of computer host 2. USB cable of computer host 2. Computer host to second HD line. Because there are a lot of lines, probably something like this. This is the cable of the computer host. Sort it out. Two monitor cables. These two monitors can be plugged in at will. Plug into the monitor interface of the output socket. RB. Well, let's take a look after it's done. This is a wire controlled micro USB button. This is plugged into the KVM switch. Switch interface. After plugging it in, the power indicator light will light up once or twice. This is the wireless keyboard and mouse we just prepared. Take out the receiver. Plug into keyboard and mouse port. After connecting, take a look at the wireless keyboard and mouse. Facial mask switch. This is the HDMI cable from computer 2. Computer to USB cable. Computer HDMI cable. Computer USB cable. Monitor cable for two monitors. If we want to connect dual screens, you must connect three lines. Well, now our lines are connected. The computer host has been turned on. Let's take a look at the overall effect. Mouse keyboard wireless receiver USB control cable. 
if we have other USB devices. Can be inserted here. This is the two high definition line display output by HDMI, monitor and monitor B. This is the input HD cable of computer host 2. Input HD cable of computer host 1. Pay attention, these two lines must be plugged in at the same time to have an image. If there is one less line plugged in, the monitor will only have one screen size. So let's test it now. First, let's move the mouse. Move left and right. This is monitor A and monitor B. Cross screen left and right. Second, let's try the keyboard. Keyboard press the Windows key on this keyboard. At this time, we can open the text document. Open text to enter text. OK, this is the computer host. Then switch to computer host 2. Now it has been switched to computer master 2. Then let's take a look. This has been switched to another computer. Move the mouse. Press the Windows key on your keyboard. This is the second one. It already works on the keyboard. Open control panel. At this time we can see. The resolution of this monitor is. 3840 times 2160. This is monitor 1. The resolution of monitor 2 is 3840 times 2160. This is one of our dual screens. KVM switch. Pay special attention here. First our monitor. There must be a high definition HDMI port. Our computer host must also have a high definition port. Plug into HDMI cables and one USB cable at the same time. Our computer host can work. For example, two monitors display at the same time. Let's unplug one of the monitors. Unplug one of the input lines. After we unplug the line, our monitor has no image. Then we'll plug it back in later. Then we will have images on both monitors. In addition, our USB cable is. Why do I need to plug and unplug this USB cable? At this time, our mobile keyboard and mouse. It is of no use. Then let's plug in the USB cable. At this time, our keyboard and mouse come into play. After we connect the two displays, we do dual screen display. Sometimes we will encounter this situation. This mouse is now on the left display. Can cross to the right. Need to be from the left side of the monitor. Then cross to the right side of the other monitor. Come in again. At this time we can set it up. No matter which monitor we are on. Right click this mouse button. Click here display settings. Click here to identify. On the right is 1, on the right is 2. We need to select one of them with the mouse. You can choose 1 or 2. For example, let's choose 1 181 07 55366 07 56700 lifted to the left. Lifted to the left because our monitor now has a line on the left and right. Then if we are up and down, when there is one above and one below, we can also place it like this. This is placed when up and down. Our monitors are now placed left and right. Click apply. So let's take a look now. Our mouse. You can view it from the left screen. Go directly to the right screen. This is a pattern of splicing. There is also an audio setting method. There is a small speaker here. Click the right button of the mouse, then open the sound settings. After opening the sound settings, here we can see the audio settings. Select audio. The first is the sound output of the computer host. The second one is the output of monitor 2. The output of this monitor 1. Because our monitor is equipped with audio, so you can choose any audio. Just set it up. The sound will be output from this display or the sound output of this monitor. If the monitor has a 3.5 audio interface, then you need to introduce your speakers. Good today, this dual screen KVM switch. That's all. Specifically, if you encounter technical problems, can be found at the bottom of our products, have our technical email and product model number, and the company's website.